Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. And this is basically a video of how we spec'd out our Ford Bronco. Um, first off, while we've opted for a Bronco over all the other options, uh, we do own a 4Runner. There are other vehicles out there like the Jeep Wrangler, Rubicon, and stuff like that, you know, Gladiator stuff. One of the reasons is not that we're necessarily a Ford family. We do own one and a half Fords. I consider this a half one currently. It was a good option. I like the look of it. And when it came out, everybody blew up and everybody anticipated getting one immediately as we did. Now ours goes a little bit deeper than that, at least from my side. If you didn't know, Jill was diagnosed with breast cancer about two years ago. And during that time, probably the lowest point of her uh, cancer treatment and after surgeries and stuff like that, I seriously feared the fact that she would give up or she wouldn't, uh, basically wouldn't make it. I mean, I say that now because she's doing very, she's doing very well. In fact, she's full remission, everything like that. But at the time I had no, I, I had doubts. If you're curious, this is what she looked like uh, probably two days before she asked me two important questions. During the process of taking care of her, she asked me if she could do YouTube. She thought it would be fun. Okay, let's do YouTube. <laughs> she also said that she wanted to do more outdoor stuff, whether it be fishing, camping, overlanding, as they call it now, you know, traveling, stuff like that. And I told her, absolutely, let's do it. Uh, that's something she wanted to do. And I was not going to say no, because I wanted to make sure that she had everything that she could fight for additional to, you know, being with me and family and stuff like that. That's why we opted for the Ford Bronco. It fits both bills. It's a new vehicle. Good for YouTube. Everybody loves the new vehicles and what people do for the, for YouTube. It's a, what looks like a very capable vehicle. We've been watching a lot of videos of them going on the trails, the Rubicon Trail and such. Uh, fully capable vehicle for what we wanted to do. Now, as far as what vehicle we picked, we did go with the Badlands. So we initially picked the Wild Tracks package just for the fact that when it first came out, they didn't have any information on it. All it was was the picture, and honestly, the Wild Tracks looked picture badass. looked badass <laughs> compared to every other vehicle. The option for the first edition was open to us. We did not opt for it because we knew we were going to modify the vehicle and we didn't want to modify a vehicle that was a limited number. That's us. We didn't want to do that. And that's, you know, if other people do it, that's perfectly fine. But I'm not going to pay you a lot of money for something. I'm going to change immediately to something else. So we did pick the Badlands and mainly because it has the rock crawl and Baja mode. The Wild Tracks doesn't come with the rock crawl, but it does come with the sport mode. Right. Badlands doesn't. So you give up the sport mode for the rock crawl, I can live with that. Yeah, it was a, it was a good trade off for the, you know, sacrificing the sport mode into rock, even though we live in Florida. Yeah. We plan on going up north, so it's good to have a rock crawl mode just in case we get ourselves stuck and we need to get out. Yeah. As far as the packages that go with it, we did go kind of overboard and I'll explain some of the reasons why kind of at the end, I'll explain little bits and pieces during the, during the thing itself. We did go with the Lux package and mainly because it comes with a lot of safety features that we look at and we want for long distance travel. Anti-collision, lane assist, adaptive cruise, control. adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, stuff like that. A lot of those safety features don't come on on just one package, it's like spread out through all. And of course, the, what they do is they put the ones you kind of want, on, or the ones you want, a couple of them on the Lux package, and of course, it gets every package below it. We wouldn't need everything on all the packages, but the way they do it is they package everything together, even the stuff you don't want on one package. You're gonna buy it regardless, especially for the one thing. Just like if everybody has cable or anybody who has cable anymore, they give you 200 channels, you only want Watch five. The Sports Network, uh, HBO, Cinemax, Disney if you have kids, and uh, Discovery. <laughs> Discovery Channel. That's it. All the other stuff you don't watch. I mean, you get some weird crap like uh, uh, underwater, basket underwater basket weaving channel and the, the expired food network or something like that. It, it's You're never going to watch it, but it's there in case you're really bored or drunk or something. Uh, not that I condone drinking. Maybe at the beginning of this video I should have. So another thing we did go with is the 
soft squash package. Well, that pushed us into the automatic uh, transmission, which is totally fine with us. Again, we do plan on traveling. We don't want to mess around with stick shift and stuff like that. I am a stick shift guy. I do love stick shifts. None of my vehicles are stick shifts because it's really hard to get them that way, but I do plan on getting a race car later on, stick shift, and that'll come in a later video. I have to relearn stick shift, but I can do it. On a different clutch. Yeah. I'll buy a beater car for that. Yeah. That's but, what I'm saying. I'm a terrible but, stick shift driver. It's but, been a while. <laughs> It, the soft squat package does come with the oversized tires, 35 inch tires, beadlock capable wheels, fender flares and such. We did opt for that. Again, it's better off-road capabilities is something we wanted, especially when we plan on going somewhere. We don't want to get stuck and have to worry about that. So the last thing for options or packages otherwise is the leather package. Main reason we did that is because we like leather in the vehicles. It's no other reason other than that in the fact that it's for us we have animals we have dogs that come with us we like the fact that it's easy to clean up leather where if it gets in like cloth seats or something like that it's really hard to get the dog hair out of it it finds its way in there and the only way to get out of get it out there is lint roller or tape or yeah. gorilla tape or something that will pull it all out yeah, it's a pain. so it's it's a real pain so with us the leather really helped us out yeah the leather just made sense um we did add a tow package to this as well yeah so, so we had the option of towing trailers you know campers whatever behind us if we wanted to yeah so for the options we picked of course go big or go home we picked the biggest engine a 2.7 liter it's got more horsepower and more torque it's something you're gonna need later on we did go with the floor mat we liked the way they were inside we didn't want to get aftermarket that were kind of iffy whether they fit yeah, it or they not go, like up to walls yeah, it goes the up the side for again easy cleaning when we come in and out of mud or snow or whatever then we got the storage bag for the front row top panels and the doors so basically the two roof uh, panels that come off the bronco and all four doors will have their own bag that will yeah. stay keep them nice and protected the vehicle. yeah that way they're protected we don't have to worry about damage to paint and stuff like that. that and you got the tow package and we also got an engine block heater why because we live in florida all right now hear me out it gets really cold in florida <laughs> Hear me out. Yes, we live in Southern Florida. It does not really snow here, but it does get cold. However, we do have family up north, so when we want to go see them, we have the engine block heater just for that. And, you know, in case we want to go camping up north and sort of freak snow. Storm. The main reason for some of the last packages, you know, the tow package, the uh, floor mats, and the engine block heater is it's too cheap to pass up. Right. If you get that aftermarket, it's going to cost you more than, I think the engine block heater was like 100 bucks or $110. It's really cheap. $100. Now, as far as accessories, we didn't get any. <laughs> we honestly didn't get any. And the reason we did that is by design. With the engineers that engineered the Bronco, they really came up with a great idea. Everything is basically removable and customizable. I mean, every panel on the car, including the rear quarter panels, mm -hmm. which no other vehicle can do, modern vehicles. Let me, hear me out. So yes, I'm sure there's some off the wall vehicle in 19, you know, 40s that had the rear quarter panel that could come off, but no modern 4x4, Jeep, uh, Toyota, Nissan, Ford, Chevy, other than the Bronco, that rear quarter panel comes off, mm -hmm. which means you can change every body panel, even if, God forbid, you want to change it to look like a Jeep or anything else, not that I'm cutting down Jeep, but they can change those body panels to look like anything they want when the aftermarket community comes out with it. And that's the big thing that we look at is- We're just waiting for aftermarket to come out with their stuff because they're going to come out with some amazing yeah. things. The aftermarket community, along with the customers, have been looking for the vehicle vehicle to come out forever. They've already put out different vehicles with, you know, the Overland yeah. package, you know, that Ford put together and the fishing package. And they have like the firefighters package that they actually donated a couple vehicles for uh, one of the firefighter groups and stuff like that, which I think is actually commendable for them. I think that's awesome. And that's what we're looking at. Some of the things we do plan on uh, adding to the vehicle accessory wise, obviously they're basics. Uh, 
roof rack when it comes out with it, uh, a better roof rack than the one that has on it right now. The one that has on that is available through Ford only goes a portion of the roof, unless you get a two door. Then it goes all the way, four door, it shortens that roof rack on the top. So it doesn't go the full length of the top. We are getting a four door, yeah. a little bit longer, storage bag, stuff like that. Well, we have dogs, um, so it makes it easier to get them in and out. Yeah. Now we plan on, ch I don't really plan on changing out the bumpers just yet. I want to see what the bumpers look like that they're coming out with. I do want to get a push grill for it. I do want to get better bash plates. Again, if they come out with some that are better than what the Bronco uh, Badlands comes out with anyway. I know I want to change out the uh, rock rails. Yeah. From what I understand and what I've heard and what I've looked at is the rock rails are mounted to the body, not the frame. I'd rather mount it to the frame. So somebody's going to come out with them in a short waiting. period of time. Now we do plan on adding as many lights as we possibly can to it. We want to make nighttime turn day again, I guess. Uh, just <laughs> Yeah, overkill with lighting is underrated when you're out in the woods. Turn that light on, you can basically see the, the next county or whatever. We do plan on getting a winch and stuff. Again, we're not getting anything through Ford. We want to see what other options come available. The reason we want to do all this is because we want to basically, like I said before, we want to travel. Um, the last two years have been really hard for Jill and I, uh, especially Jill. She went through a hell and back yeah. from cancer to now that as soon as her cancer was done, it rolls right into the pandemic and stuff like that. She was still uh, her immune system was still damaged and uh, weak because of the chemo, so we couldn't do a lot. Now that she's getting a lot healthier and, and recovering a lot, we want to make sure that have an opportunity when the Bronco comes out and when we get it to immediately basically hit the ground running with going traveling and stuff like that. Now, our plans with the Bronco are basically go out every month, at least once a month to uh, travel someplace new. Uh, now, we're not gonna go to California every month. We're gonna go short distances first to see how she's doing, yeah. uh, make sure she's okay, stay close to the home in case, uh, issue. in case any issues with her. And later mm -hmm. on, gradually kind of work our way out to wherever. Uh, this will be going on basically forever. Yeah. I mean, we want to make sure this is a normal thing for us and it's continuous. And for that, we will do a lot of traveling. And again, that's why we picked a lot of the packages. Make it safe for us. Make it safe for uh, the dogs. Uh, make sure we come back and, you know, not get stuck or stranded someplace because of something we didn't have before. We do plan on getting a lot of equipment for the inside for, for uh, overlanding or camping or, you know, stuff like that. Recovery equipment and such. Uh, my big truck has it. I want to make sure I have it for both vehicles. This is something that I've been waiting for to get her back out there and get her back to her normal self, healthy and such. It's not necessarily the Bronco. It could have been any vehicle. It could have been anything. It's not necessarily what we're doing or where we're going. It's basically spend time with the girl I love and basically, you know, then make a lot of memories and stuff like that. And we figured the Bronco would be a good platform to start that with. So mm -hmm. again, hope you like the video. If we want to subscribe, support a new YouTuber out <laughs> and, uh, you know, dreams, support her dreams. <laughs> I have. Yours cost nothing. Mine's costing yeah, me. Really free to subscribe. Mine's costing me a fortune. And again, she's worth it. Thank you. And I uh, hope you guys like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share it with friends. We're trying to get our first goal is 100 subscribers. Uh, the last video we got probably eight, probably eight subscribers. Yeah. So it was good. The last video kind of was a little bit iffy, but this video hopefully is nicer and I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, see you next video. Oh, also follow us on Instagram at 151Garage and Twitter, and we'll be uploading some stuff to TikTok underneath 151Garage too. Eventually, we're still working on content, so. Yeah, so again, thank you for joining us. Hope to see you next video. Bye. Bye.